villa 53 that's villa 53 phase 2 palm meadows it's on avenue 5 and Avenue 6 which runs at the back of this villa and the phase 2 main road which comes in from the amenities center to this villa palms Two cars can be parked, one in the covered parking, one in the open parking, and maybe a couple of two-wheelers too. That's the main entrance, which is facing north. Before we go in, that is the view from the back side. And this is one end of the Avenue 6. And this is the other end of the Avenue 6. We do have a back entrance. On the Avenue 6, there. You can see the door leading to the servant room or office or whatever you want to make of it. There's a small room. We'll go there from the front. That's the entrance. The drawing room, fully furnished. Everything stays. That's the dining room. Crockery cabinet, coffee maker, wine stand or what, whatever you call it. Gas stove come oven with all the attachments. Gas cylinders kept outside and the supply is piped in. Chimney, sufficient storage, sufficient ventilation, water, filter, geyser, exhaust fan, microwave oven. fridge some more storage and then you passed the mosquito meshing you get into the cozy utility servants so toilet you have the washing machine fully automatic and this is the tumble dryer this is the dishwasher there is a door leading out but we have closed it for now because these 
gadgets. Coming back. This is the guest bedroom as we call it. Cards, bedside, stands, table, so storage, everything. This is the toilet, geyser and stuff. And this toilet can be configured as an attached toilet or as, an, as a toilet which can be used by everyone, common toilet. Um, AC is there in all the bedrooms. This is a small room which can be used either as a, a you know storage room or a laundry room. I mean. Uh, ironing room or servants room or small office I am currently using it as my office and this is the exit which I showed you earlier on two occasions this is the ground floor this is the staircase which goes up to the first floor that's the door we came in from all uh, staircase entrance and exits have got these baby gates and this you can see um, you know plastic to ensure plastic sheathing to ensure that uh, kids little kids don't um, sort of you know injure themselves that is the road which we started the video on here first floor landing again baby gates here this is the master bedroom cots, mattresses, pillows mattress covers, pillow covers, sheets Everything is there, whatever you want. It's ready, you can just move into there itself. AC. Bedside table. And this is the toilet. This is the only toilet that has got uh, tab. This is the children's bedroom. Sufficiently ventilated, as you can see. This is the toilet. Now if we get into the fourth bedroom, we can use it either as a bedroom or a study or a children's playroom. Um, this is the internet connection, repeater on first floor. Uh, you can also make it a cocktails room, children's room, whatever you want to make of that. Again, well ventilated. This is a little balcony on the first floor. That's the covered parking which you saw. That you can see is Avenue 5. That is the main road. Phase 2 main road. This room we have kept empty because you can use it whichever way you want. 
this is the way to the second floor again mosquito meshing everywhere you can have a little garden here if you want you can dry your clothes you can you can do any other thing that you want here that's the phase two main road that again is avenue five and this was the terrace open to sky and now we get into what I call an open air lounge you can this use the space in the evenings for cocktails or for anything else during the daytime as you can see it's covered so it's quite pleasant which you have to take my word for it uh, there's still some work going on this is the barbecue unit and once again we get to Avenue 6 in the back and this is what I spend most of my time when I'm here enjoying having a gala time. You're welcome to do the same. Bye-bye.